Delicious. The snail meat is cooked perfectly, appearing dry and fresh. See you all again. I am Chef Sorforn. Today, I have a new dish to show you all, fried snails with peppers. Have you not had it? If you have not already, please come and see how I do it. Now, we come to fry the snails with peppers together. Garlic, chilies, and peppers. Chilies, my valued audience, could use as much as your favorite, but a little spicy is delicious. We already put peppers. We have ball peppers. You can use ball peppers, but I do not have them. I use ball peppers like that. Take it very hard, take it and put it aside. We set our pan to heat a little. When the pan is hot, wait for us to put the oil in. Let us now start frying. We put the oil in and let our oil heat up. Let us add a little bit with our mixed ingredients. We fry our ingredients to smell a little, my valued audience. When my ingredients taste good, you add some sugar. And we mix our sugar with our ingredients a little bit. Now, our ingredients smell good, and our sugar is good too. And I started to put in the snails. wind, I cut the buttocks, and all before your fry, we cut the buttocks clean. When we put the snails, and we stir a little everything, this kind of dish may be new for some of you. That cook, but do this has a delicious taste from the frying. Now, I have started to add other ingredients. I add a little bit MSG soup power, and fish sauce. I put a little soy sauce, put a spoonful of snail oil, and we stir the ingredients a little. It's easy, my valued audience, to fry our snails and peppers. It's easy to fry and taste delicious when we mix all the ingredients well and leave enough to boil. My valued audience, after a while, after we have taken care of it, we diligently open it, and we stir it back and forth so that it does not hurt. Well, lest it burns, but it is not very dry, it has a taste in it. You see that it is almost cooked, and our snails are cooked slowly, but not yet cooked well. So, we leave a little more. But when our snails are almost cooked like this, my valued audience, adds a little more ripe tamarind juice. Putting ripe tamarind juice like this helps in a frying pan, so it enhances the taste of our fried snails to be more delicious. After adding the ripe tamarind juice, I cover it to boil everything well. You can add a little water to make our snails boil well. And when it boils, I sprinkle spring onions. Or you can use sourdough. It goes well with this one. But today, I use spring onions to sprinkle. Now it is cooked, and I sprinkle a little spring onion, and I'm off and we can eat and taste. Awesome. 
You added spring onions to make it smell delicious. You just want to eat it. Now we are ready. I prepare it to the plated and sprinkled some spring garlic to enhance its visual appeal and the aroma matches the delightful taste. Sprinkle with garlic and then I add a little more pepper because I shoot. I must add more color to be more beautiful. That fresh, the snail meat is cooked perfectly, appearing dry and fresh. What do you think, brothers and sisters? Let's all come and taste with me. Delicious, you have a kind of taste from our frying pan, the smell of hot peppers, from a little pepper to the sweet taste of ripe tamarind, from less sugar, it increases the taste of this dish is even more delicious. Do not forget to try cooking this way if you have never cooked like this. And if there is any taste, you can comment below my video.